Hi, how are you? I'm Javier Mota. I'm Aaron Gold. And we're here driving in California the new 2017 Infiniti Q60. The third generation of this sport coupe. And this car has some, besides like the new engine, the new design and all that, has pretty amazing technologies uh, for close to autonomous driving, right? Yes, a lane keeping assist that's very, very aggressive. And we're gonna see most of these systems, when you turn them on, if you take your hands off the wheel and let the car drive, they will warn you. So we're gonna see how long I can take my, how long I can drive the car, letting it steer without my hands on the steering wheel. Okay, let's see that. So we're in the Infiniti Q60, it's Aaron Gold and Javier Mota, and this has the lane keeping assist, and most of these systems, they'll guide the car in its lanes, and most of them will warn you if you take your hands off the wheel, after a certain amount of time. So we're going to see how long that takes, so I'm now taking my hand off the wheel. But it's more than just lane keep assist, right? It's like controlling yeah, the distance have, and have, speed of the... We're controlling the distance of the car in front, we have adaptive cruise control. This is a really long time. I know. Most of the time, most of the other vehicles that have this kind of system goes like 20 seconds, 10 30, seconds. And, and now shut it off. it's not even like telling you anything. So, and the road is curving, and the car is driving with the turns. We are going about 72 miles per hour, uh, unless you're law enforcement, in which case we're driving the speed limit. Yeah, exactly. Keeping distance with the car in front. It still hasn't beeped at us. I don't think it's gonna beep now because I mean it would have done it already. By now. It's gonna be a very long video. So I basically can drive the car. Let's like wait. This. Yeah. <laughs> Let's wait till it says something. Alright. I mean this actually now you have the sense. you have the, the cruise control set up at what? At seventy something? I have it set for seventy six. But since we have the car ahead of us and it gone slowly slower mm -hmm. you're going only 65 65 66 miles an hour which is the speed limit if any yeah. law enforcement are driving so we still haven't been told i'm not, I'm not space between my knees i'm not steering with my knees there's no brake no uh, no throttle yeah. or anything you i can need, you need I can, a pillow i can, i need a book <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I can read have, this would be a great time have an to, ipad <laughs> yeah excellent oh great this will be fine this would be a great time to, to look at the owner's manual and figure out all the stuff we we uh we can't do it's still going. That, that, that light that uh, goes on and off from that side is actually the blind spot monitor, yeah. but that has nothing to do with these other systems. That... Now, I realize we're going down a straight road, but the car is, it is keeping the car in the lane. This would be more entertaining if there were curves. And they have a lower and more aggressive setting. Yeah. This and is, and uh, when they're yeah. talking about autonomous driving, we've heard of all about the accidents and all that, but this is what we're at level two. So driver is still responsible for anything right. that could happen but the car can do a lot on its own if i kill javier at this point it's my fault we just ran it didn't well, see exactly. the did you, thing did, we just ran over did you yeah. sign the waiver <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, well clearly it's never going to ask me to put my hands on the, oh it just drifted that way a little bit but now it's well, coming never i don't know i mean i don't know if uh the lanes disappear for example Oh, uh, that, that might like, they might not be any markers on the road. I would think road. if it was gonna. This guy's a real slowpoke, and as a result, everybody's passing us. I would think if it was gonna tell me to put my hands on the wheel, by this point, it would have told me to put my hands on the wheel. Yeah, it's been what, like a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit more. It, it's, it's been, it's been a very, very long time. It's been an uncomfortably long, so long that I didn't realize I'd have to say this much on this video. I know exactly. I thought we'd well, be we done. We can talk about the rain if you want. Because hey, it's raining. It's a rare occurrence here in California. I think is the road going to turn up here? Uh, it might. It might turn a little bit. I see. Yeah, it's a little. Okay, so there's turn. a turn coming up. We'll the see. road is going to bend to the right. I'm going to just keep my hands. Should be leaving at 55, which we're like following. What's uh, that's trailers. We oh, get to trailers. Go okay, we don't have a okay, trailer. Okay, the car is drifting out to the left lane, and it is it's at the left edge of the lane. Nope, it is making the turn entirely on its own. So right now, uh, why the would way it does it, it applies brakes to this side in this case, so it brings it. I think yeah, brakes and it. it I, I think it's. I don't know if it just brakes or steers. Is that our exit there, by the way? Exit thirty-two. All right, so we'll have to take an exit. So yeah, the car is going around the corner on its own. So at this point, you might look at the video and say, why would Javier do a video and let somebody else drive? But the truth is, I'm not driving either. Nobody's driving. Javier and I are no. both passengers. No, now the road's going to straighten out. You. 
Yeah, well, to be honest, you're a lot safer with the car driving than you are with me. So at 39, we're going to take an exit. On 32, we are at 37. 37.8. 8. So at that point, you're going to have to do something. Steer the car. Yeah, yeah at car that car. point, I will have to steer the car. So let's wait for that, and that's. Is this illegal? Are we do? Are we creating? Video I don't think there's laws around about it, so it's not illegal yet. There's no law that says keep your hands. Yeah, the, the the NHTSA is going to announce actually next week uh -huh. the first 15 points of like autonomous driving regulation. So by then, maybe by Tuesday, you can be illegal. I could be illegal, but for now... Yeah, there's a right. uh, border patrol, so you could be illegal that way too. No, maybe I'm not. Your, I'm, your, <laughs> I'm your legal, as long as you don't cross into Canada. All right, I'm going to intervene briefly to uh, steer the car and to just slow down in response to that person. And now I'm back to letting the car drive. And I even point it towards the outside of the lane there. And nope, it put itself right back nope, in the center. It doesn't let you. I did not expect this video to be anywhere near this lane. Okay, so <laughs> exit, 30, exit 32 at 39 miles so it's coming up now you're gonna have to really take I'm gonna control. have to steer the car so. but right. this is a good demonstration of where autonomous driving is going because if we had said like this was an autonomous driving demonstration and we had set up the specific destination the car would probably have done this on its own too towards Oceanside right yeah yeah so that should give you an example yeah exactly and it's show you just how close we are I mean you just witnessed a car essentially driving itself that's where we are with autonomous driving. This is stage two. There's stage three that most companies are going to bypass with the new regulations and all that. And stage four is when the car really will do that, like take you to a destination. Like sometimes, I bet when you travel and you go to the airport from your house, you don't really enjoy that drive, right? I mean, to you just want to get there. I love the airport. No, I know, but you, I mean, like. I the, love I actually love driving to the airport. Okay, so that's a bad example. But <laughs> tell one example where you just want to go to another place. You'll set it up in your navigation and the car. Can I tell you one possible problem? Back to letting the car drive, by the way. Um, oh, this will be interesting because there's no lane markers on the right. But it's briefly. Up here. Uh, oh, the right lane ends. I wonder what it'll do. Uh, so there we go. It found it again. The right lane. Now I have to go fast because it's a truck. <laughs> Um, so there are like certain circumstances yeah. that you're going to still have to intervene. So, so now, now there's traffic, so it's going to slow down. So I'll tell you what's, uh, what is interesting about it. For example, I, I live in Los Angeles. It's about a two, three hour drive depending on traffic to San Diego. Uh, and I don't like the drive, so I always take the so train that's a case here. that you will use this, yeah. right? I'm going to change lanes, even though, because that traffic is nearly stopped. Theoretically, it was going to make that panic stop for us, but uh, there was a truck behind me. So, <laughs> But it is slowing down for traffic. So yeah. But now you wonder now if we had autonomous driving. I don't do that drive because it's it's annoying and a pain in the neck. So I take a train, which yeah. is more environmentally friendly. If so I took we'll my see. car, I mean, uh, the it'd regulations, be bad for the yeah, environment. the regulations are coming down. The technology is obviously way advanced. Yes. Of the legislation, so that's where we are with autonomous driving. See you next time, Aaron. Bye.